Local law enforcement is paying tribute to fallen heroes this week. It's National Police Week. IMPD officer Brianne Leith will be remembered in Washington, D.C. later this week. She was killed in the line of duty. Now, other events here at home started today as well. That's right. Fox 59's Justin Kolar shows us how Boone County's law enforcement memorial tonight changed because of the pandemic. Justin? Yeah, good evening, Beer Shell and Fanchon. The event is typically held in May, but the ongoing battle with COVID-19 pushed it to tonight. There were plans for a candlelight vigil along the Court Square sidewalk, but the rain canceled those plans, and as we saw, it'll take a lot more than a little rain to dampen the appreciation for those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. It means a lot to all of us. It helps to fill a hole that's never going to be filled. Since the loss of Deputy Jacob Pickett in 2018, Boone County has been searching for a new normal. Out of the ashes, always beauty will rise, and we've got to make sure that we're all hopeful that things will change, and I'm very hopeful that things can change and get better. To the Republic. Sheriff Mike Nielsen believes community support drives the change. We do in a, live in a world of hate right now, but when you go downstairs and you can see all the smiles and all the hugs and all the handshakes and all the appreciation that the community is giving us today, it really brings things back into perspective. It's turned out really cool. Deputy Wesley Garst organized this event. We envisioned a community presence, which is one of our mission statements as UNITY, all caps, because it's very important. Its timing mirrors others being held across the country. It's a week of honors for the fallen officers, but it's also a week of support, uh, classes, uh, debriefings and counseling for family members of fallen officers. The support from the community for fallen officers. It means so much to us and I'm sure it does to other families also. These gentlemen, they left families behind. And so it's that much more important that we remember those fallen so therefore we can support those families as they still grieve those lost loved ones. We've got a full list of the fallen officers to be honored in our nation's capital this week on our website tonight. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Justin Kolar, Fox 59 News.